Yeah. yeah. People show up for these coaching jobs and, and they see the pipeline and they see, you know, the instructors. We all start socializing and uh, we, we get a fair number of these guys to, to join up and go through the pipeline. But what, what was it? Was it what was it for you? Like, it's just weird because you, you were at NSW prep, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You didn't become a SEAL, which all I heard from like that story about uh, WaterCon is that the Air Force is harder than the SEALs. I don't know. That's what I heard. WaterCon, yeah, 100%. And then you, you know, but like, what, what was the difference that, that made you want to be a combat controller versus a Navy SEAL uh, without, you know, saying anything too negative about our, our sister service homies. Oh, man. All right. Without that. Um, well, some of the instructors that were up there, uh, man, I'm trying not to name names here, but there was one instructor who's pretty famous. He loves to run. All right. Who's going to carry the boats, you know? <laughs> Hey, if it, um, if it helps you with uh, Aaron people out, nobody actually listens to this podcast, so you can just say their name. It's like, yelling, <laughs> it's like yelling his name in a forest, right? Like if I just went to the Pacific Northwest and just screamed it, it's the same. So don't worry. Well, so I became I became pretty close with, uh, with Goggins up there, and he kind of talked me through it. He was the first one that was like, dude, F being a SEAL, man, with your swimming background, you need to be a PJ. Those guys, those guys are effing badass, man. Little oh, did he know. Is a huge <laughs> Little did he know. <laughs> and uh, so I looked into it and I was like, oh, I don't know, Chief, you know, like maybe, like we'll see. And then I, I think we were on a run when we were talking about this. This dude like grabbed me out of class and was like, hey, we're going for a run. And I was expecting maybe like a four, five mile run, nothing too crazy. We ended up running like 10 miles at like 630, right? Or like some crazy pace, which being a swimmer, you know, I'm not inclined to be a runner. So I was like, I was freaking dying. And I was just trying to keep up with him. But what I didn't realize at the time was like, I was just barely ahead of him. And he didn't like that. So he kept dropping the pace down farther and farther and farther. Uh, I think I ended up like throwing up and pooping my pants that day. But Anyways, yeah, he's the one that told me, like, hey, you probably don't want to be a SEAL, man. Like, you know, checked out to Air Force, and that was always in the back of my mind. Um, but actually joining up with without getting too off the rails here, uh, I've always been a huge plane nerd, right? Like, I used to go to air shows growing up all the time. I can identify all kinds of planes. Um, and then seeing that this job, you can actually you can actually work with aircraft. You can talk to them. You know, you can... And, and and the skill set is just so cool, right? Um, from all from all the all the things you're able to do as a as a combat controller, just really drew me towards it. Um, you know, setting up airfields, going in behind an enemy line, like just all the core skills. Uh, if that's all we did, I would be I'm, I'm I'd be totally happy. Which I obviously. 